president. We were very early. Oh, I'm, I'm the president. And, and you know what I just did? So quickly. And you know what I just... And by the way, when you issued the ban, the virus was already here. Okay, and you know how many people, when I issued the ban, how many cases of virus were in the United States when I issued the ban? Do you know the number? There was... No, no, how many cases... 一名哥伦比亚广播公司 CBS 华裔女记者，十九日在白宫疫情简报会上多次打断美国总统川普讲话，还不断责备川普的防疫措施不当。不过，当川普反问他“你知道实施中国旅行禁令时，美国有多少死亡案例吗？”这名女记者开始必答问题，期间还不断质问川普。最后，在川普追问下，这名女记者承认她不知道。Zero deaths at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there, and you should say thank. Thank you very much for good judgment. Go ahead, please. 近日，白宫简报会上出现了三位华裔记者，除了这名记者外，还有来自香港凤凰卫视、上海东方卫视的记者。You're cooperating with China. Who are you working for? China? You work for China? Are you with a newspaper? Who are you with? Hong Kong Phoenix TV. Who owns that? China. 四月六号，香港凤凰卫视女记者王幼幼在简报会上向川普谎称凤凰卫视是香港私人媒体，还说与中共无关。隔几天，四月八号，上海东方卫视记者张金义记者会上告诉川普，来自台湾，以出生地掩盖为中共党媒工作。最后还有在十九号呛川普的 CBS 女记者姜维嘉。而三位华裔记者的出现，恐怕将引起美国对中共势力渗透更大范围的警惕。新唐人亚太电视林玉堂、叶云汝整理报道。